Good evening to you all. I just want to make something clear about my return to SmackDown. I didn't come back to sit around and rest on my laurels. I may be a 16-time champion, but that doesn't mean that I can't work my way up. So tonight, I will compete on SmackDown, and we'll see who's willing to step up to the face that still runs this place. Well, it looks like the so-called GOAT is in need of an opponent. How sad. Look, you questioning who's willing to step up? Well, you're looking at your opponent. If you got the guts, Cena? Meaner than evil, how is that possible? I guess I'll find out. You got yourself a main event match with your future world heavyweight champion, John Cena. Remember this, John? I got the best spear in the business, and I plan on cutting you in half. Oh, wow, isn't this lovely? Two of my SmackDown superstars making my job so easy. Cena versus Breaker. For the first time ever in the history of the WWE, that's a hell of a main event for tonight. It's official. Tonight on SmackDown. For the first time ever, it'll be John Cena meets Braun Breaker in the main event. Plus, the light heavyweight title will be on the line and more. Don't miss tonight's episode of SmackDown. Welcome everyone as we're live in Hershey, Pennsylvania to start SmackDown with the women's tag team match take place. The following contest is a tornado tag team match. On the way to the ring, Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. Katana Chance and Kaden Carter last week on SmackDown had an opportunity to potentially become new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions when he took on Gigi Dolan and Shotzi, but sadly couldn't get the job done. Looking to use tonight as a way to regroup by getting a win over the league, a tag team that they've challenged on SmackDown only a few weeks ago. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. And their opponents, Sonya Deville and Gigi J. A whole new attitude for JC Jane and Sonya Deville. Realizing that they could become a champion together. Their careers were going nowhere as single stars. And they thought, why not take advantage of that? They're going to be tag team champions. But they got to go through a lot of tag teams in order to do so. Starting tonight as they take on Katana Chant and Kaden Carter. The league has gotten the wins over Katana Chance and Kitten Carter before on SmackDown. And also, the league was also to get able to get the win, or almost got the victory at Elimination Chamber when it took on Gigi Dolan and Chauncey for the tag titles. The league is a tag team that you got to keep your eye out for. DDT there by GC Jade and Sonya takes care of Kitten Carter in the corner. Surfboard stretch applied on the Katana Chance. And JC Jane oh no, unable to get the job done as Katana able to fight through. And now Katana taking head scissors on the Sony Deville. Big splash there by JC Jane on the, on the Carter. And now the lead, they're going to double team on the Chance here. That's the scary thing about Tornado Tag Team matches. It can be a handicap scenario in the match when a partner is down. Cover up the suplex, but not able to get the win. Look at, oh, wait a minute. I guess there's no disqualification. That's Chishy J. Wait a minute, cover from the kick out. Yeah, I'm being told now, yep, it was disqualific no disqualifications will take place in this match. That's Katana Chance doing damage to Sonya. That's Carter trying to fight off JC. That's Katana Chance sending Sonya to the corner. 
Carter with a close lock. Kaden Carter holding her own against Stacey J. Who once competed for the Women's World Title. Back at backlash against Liv Morgan. Oh! Corkscrew splash by Katana Tense. A standing corkscrew splash. And is she connected again? And then an elbow by JC Jane. And now it's Katana and JC, the only two standing. And now it's Katana Chance and Katie Carter on their feet. Corkscrew plancha by Katana Chance. Kick off SmackDown heading towards the Royal Rumble. One more episode to go before the event that will kick off the road or continue the road to WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania began heading towards the Elimination Chamber a while back, and now the Royal Rumble is the last stop before WrestleMania. It will take a detour getting to WrestleMania this time. Sonya Deville taking it towards Chance, I believe. Oh no, Carter rather. And that was Chance and JC Jane going at it as Carter takes care of Sonya. Able to pry her down and I'll use the steel chair to her advantage. JC Jane being sent back to the ring by Chance. And look at Chance. Taking a chance there. Able to plot her face first. And she, oh, again, tried to fly that time. But JC Jane was not there for her to land on. Katala Chance, unable to land on her mark. JC Jane was able to take advantage with Carter, able to set her back in the ring. And now look at Carter again. Taking care of Sonya. And again, we're gonna hold it down for her attack partner and Katana Chance, this Kaden Carter. And then, oh, cutting her gut first. And now, oh, Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville able to apply her head first onto the floor. And now they're gonna use the steel chair to her advantage. In this no disqualification matchup. As again, Carter able to send JC Jane back in the ring. And oh, they're gonna use the chair, but no, and oh! Spit kick there by JC Jane! Is it enough? So they keep a chance to pay, and she got the win! Sonya Deville with a spike buster for good measure. Sonya Deville and JC Jane, the league. Holy cow, what a win for the league there. A spit kick able to take down Carter for the one, two, three, with Sonya Deville keeping chance at bay. Wow. Tonight, that dumb Irish luck comes to an end. Courtesy of yours truly, Damian Priest. Seamus, you think you can make it tonight? You think in your first title defense, you're walking away with the WWE Light Heavyweight Championship? The Judgment Day has said time and time again that we want all of the gold, and your championship is no different. That's right, and you know what? I want something too. I watched Raw and I saw the women's money in the bank contract change hands, so I beg to ask the question, where's Rob Van Dam? Is he gonna be here for season 10? I don't know, but before we get there, how about I issue a challenge for the next episode of SmackDown? RVD, if you got the balls, defend your Money in the Bank contract against me in a one-on-one -on -one match. No judgment day at ringside. I can beat you, Rob. Finn Balor is working on getting all three of us spots in the Men's Royal Rumble match. Rhea is gonna squash Asuka and retain her Women's World Championship. Tonight, I will be the new light heavyweight champion. And Dirty Dom here will be the next Money in the Bank holder. Soon, all of you will bow down to the Judgment Day. Oh my. Strong words by Damian Priest and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio throwing out a challenge for RVD's Money in the Bank contract in spite of what he the saw in the wall. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. 
Before we get to Bobby Lashley in action tonight, again, Damian Priest will be in action later on tonight, competing for Sheamus' light heavyweight championship. A title match will take place tonight here on SmackDown. Only one more episode before the Royal Rumble Premium Live event. And speaking of the Royal Rumble, here's the almighty Bobby Lashley, a former World Heavyweight and Universal Champion, a man who held the title for one year, from SummerSlam to SummerSlam. From Brooklyn, New York to Toronto, Canada, that's how long Lashley held that championship. A man that had a great, great championship bout with the late, great Luke Harper at the Royal Rumble a couple years ago. And now tonight, Bobby Lashley will gain some momentum heading towards the Royal Rumble matchup, along with this man, a former Cruiserweight and WWE World Champion. Here comes the one and only Ricochet. And his opponent from Pontico, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. A Survivor Series Survivor in Ricochet, never forget, 2K20. In season six, or season seven, where Ricochet was able to be on Team SmackDown and was able to get the victory, being the one to defeat Kevin Owens and Finn Balor in that match, and going on to win the world title at the Premium Live Event TLC. A highlight that Ricochet, among others that he has accomplished, over the years and now tonight he plans on getting a big win over the almighty heading towards the Royal Rumble thinking pump kick but Lashley had him blocked and right off the gate Lashley thinking almighty spine buster right out the gate now we're gonna be in for a good one as we all know how great both men are here tonight Bobby Lashley and Ricochet one on one they're on SmackDown. As Lashley. Looking shot right to the side of the head. And the Lashley's like, what, 280? Oh my god. I think it just a handspring. Oh, into a Pele. Very quickly did Ricochet. Able to land that series of moves there. As Ricochet with the strikes. Got him from behind. Lung blower. And now, on the second row, Mozart in the cover of the Mozart, and lastly, able to get the shoulder up at one. And now they're gonna swing the shay up top, the King Shining Star, but it's the Almighty able to dodge the star, and now it's lastly ready to deliver the spear. And lastly connects, go with the spear. Shoulders are down. Ricochet able to kick it too. Oh, but look at Ricochet. Able to get him inside Cradle. Inside Cradle. Oh, no, Lashley. Oh, my God. What a sequence there between Lashley and Ricochet. By the Lashley. Oh, no. Oh. Face first off the apron goes Ricochet. The one and only is getting a big hurting courtesy of the former CEO of the Hurt Business, Lashley. As, oh, Lashley getting sent to the step that time. And now it's Ricochet. They're going to create distance to get back in the ring. Colin Lashley to get back in the ring. Want to finish it the right way. The honor boy. It's Lashley. Sends him over to the top rope. Ricochet, four. What's Ricochet thinking? Springboard! Close line connects! Oh, but Lashley caught him with a kick. Oh! Big shot to the midsection. And oh! Knee left there by Lashley, but Ricochet with a spin back kick. The one and only is holding his own against the Almighty. Ricochet competing like rents do 
as Ricochet thinking. Oh, I thought he's gonna. I thought he's gonna fly, but no. Lastly, able to block, but Ricochet able to get him with a head scissors. Oh, form in the face. Again, Ricochet able to hold his own. He's taking it towards Lashley. Big boot to the face. The Almighty's in deep trouble in this match. Count of five by the referee. And again, Ricochet driving the knees. I think he busted up the Lashley. Driving the knees again. Doing damage to the skull of the Almighty. Oh, but the, the dominant able to block. And now look at Lashley go on the press with ease into the power and slam out to the floor. Count of eight. Count of eight. Lashley realized it. Able to get back in the room by the count of eight. And Lashley look at the five for Ricochet. Lashley flew, but he crashed and burned as Ricochet taking advantage. Delivering strikes to the open wall of Lashley. And now Ricochet sending him back in the ring. Ricochet looking to fly. Ricochet thinking elbow. Lashley able to evade. Lashley got him. Oh, Lashley. Oh! Able to transition. Locks him up to the top rope. Poking the leg. Lateral press. Ricochet get the shoulder up at two. Able to get the shoulder up at two. This match continues, ladies and gentlemen. What a match between Ricochet and Lashley. Ricochet trying to regroup, but Lashley is going to continue the fight. Thinking suplex. Ricochet to a feed. Block the drop kick to Lashley. This is what Adam Pierce wanted. He wanted a competitive show. He wanted SmackDown to be all about competition. Spine onto the floor. Boom rattling. Four. Down to four. Lashley now. Doing damage to the arms. And look at Ricochet. Able to pop up. Ricochet got him. Oh. Got his head. Got Lashley's head between his legs. And then able to drive in the elbow. Town of six. The Lashley with the knee lift. And it's Lashley sending Ricochet cross ringside. Count of seven. Lashley back in the ring. This has been very hands on between these two. Meaning that it's been more strikes than I thought there would be between Ricochet and Lashley. Look at Lashley talking to the WWE Universe here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And now they're going to spin and out. Both men. Being playing mind games with each other. Turn it around. Uh, off the ropes. And lastly, able to sidestep. Ricochet. Roll through. And then go oh, the Pele. And Ricochet. Oh, again. The roll through. And again, attacking the skull. Ricochet doing severe damage to the skull of Lashley as we're only one more episode away from the Royal Rumble. Yeah! Lashley has to be 100% if he wants to compete and go through the distance depending on what number he gets in the Rumble match. And oh, Ricochet caught him on a pump. A pump kick right in the face. Oh, that was Ricochet thinking. Ricochet. Ricochet with a, the hurt lock. Ricochet with a hurt lock on Lashley. How did Ricochet get a hurt lock on Lashley? But oh, wait a minute. Oh, the, the fun. The, the games are over now. Lashley able to turn that around. Oh, no. Oh, Ricochet again. Had him scouted. My God, what a matchup! Count of six. Lashley again getting him back in the ring and a big boot to the face. And out of the almighty. Oh, wait. Trying to pick him up. Oh, Ricochet with a jawbreaker. Go block the shot to Lashley. Lashley again. 
Gorilla Press, power slam. A nasty combination by Lashley. Disorienting Ricochet, but no, not enough to keep him down. Wait a minute. Oh, oh wait. Ricochet, she started to stir. They saw Lashley go to the corner, maybe thinking Spear. And again, he thought about doing it again, but Ricochet trying to get up. Lashley wants to make sure Ricochet is down for the count, perhaps. And a oh, ticking spear! But Ricochet caught him on a DDT! And now, wait, roll through, and Ricochet with a oh, oh my god, what a Pele kick! Again, doing more damage to the skull with the open wound is Ricochet. Taking advantage. What's Ricochet gonna do here? He has something in mind, but Lashley sidestep. Lashley able to get him in this grasp. Look at this. Busted open it all. Lashley fighting through the pain. Boom! The suplex. That's Lashley. Setting him off the ropes. Oh my god! He just launched Ricochet and let him crash and burn. Similar to what happened to Lashley earlier in this match. Lashley crashed and burned. Ricochet but to suffer the same thing! But it's a girl head kick there by Ricochet. These two are putting on a clinic here on SmackDown. Shooting star! Standing shooting star by Ricochet. And now he's going to the top. Shooting star! Shooting star press! Wesley power now! Ricochet up top again. Shooting star by Ricochet. Couldn't get him. Lashley had him scouted. Big boot to the skull. Lashley has had enough. As Lashley now working on Ricochet. Lashley got him grounded. Lashley in position. The almighty spear. Into the cover. Oh, what a match. Bobby Lashley just proved to everyone, just reminded everyone why he is that damn good. Why he is the almighty. Oh, wait a minute. The World Heavyweight Champion Jay White is here. Or at least in the backstage area. But where is he going? We need to talk. Talk to who? Live in BMO Field in Toronto, Canada, it is the Royal Rumble Premium Live event where superstars will battle inside the ring to where one superstar will stand tall out of the 29 to win the Royal Rumble and go on to WrestleMania. There will be seven matches on the show, but only four championships will be on the line. You don't want to miss the upcoming WWE Royal Rumble, the last show before WrestleMania. Rhea, you may scare others, but you don't scare Asuka. At the Royal Rumble, I will become the world champion. You're not ready for the Empress of Tomorrow. I'm gonna beat you at the Royal Rumble, whether by knocking you out or making you tap out. Either way, I win. As we're back live here on SmackDown, strong words there by Asuka. I'm guessing responding to what Rhea Ripley said on the last episode on SmackDown. Rhea Ripley plans on retaining the Women's World title at the Royal Rumble while Asuka plans on regaining the championship that she never really lost. But as we switch gears now, ladies and gentlemen, even though Asuka and Rhea Ripley are not here tonight, they will be on SmackDown next episode before the Royal Rumble. As we now switch gears, it's Blair Davenport 
will go one on one with Raquel Gonzalez. Returning from injury, here comes and Raquel. From Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel Rodriguez has had a up and down ride, if you will, here in WWE. Over the last year, she was uh, trying to go after the tag team titles. That didn't work out. She tried to go after the women's world title, and Sally, that didn't work out. And then she's been out with an injury for a bit. So now we're going to see how Raquel Rodriguez will fare tonight against Blair Davenport. Maybe Raquel Rodriguez might be able to get back into the thick of things, if you will, and work her way up into getting a title shot down the line. The battle's running, and here we go, as both women aspire to be the next challenger for the Women's World title. Both women are going to get a victory tonight, as look at that, up and over, and all over the counter, does Blair Davenport. As Blair, oh, they're going to dunk that Larian attempt by Raquel, and gave it a catch with a shoulder tackle. And now, look at Blair Davenport with a swinging neck. Able to take her down. Swinging neck breaker and then, oh, stomp to the skull. And now, oh, able to prevent the clothesline attempt by Raquel. Did Blair, but look at this. Raquel Rodriguez. Oh, look at this. She got her in the gory special or the gory submission. Blair Davenport able to find a way out. And then Blair with a head scissors takedown. And now Davenport, they're gonna maybe rake the eyes. Oh! And Evil Witch is Blair Davenport. Not afraid to get her hands dirty to get the job done. Look at Raquel. Oh my god! Two handed choke slam onto the floor. No remorse by Miss Rodriguez. And now Rodriguez with an elbow. And now Raquel able to send her back in the ring. By the count of three. Maybe they're going to take a breather. But at the same time, Blair Davenport is being allowed a breather. Raquel has a chance to stop. By the count of five, though. Pacing around the ring, trying to regroup. And then Blair Davenport sending her back, crashing outside. And now Raquel getting back in the ring with no doubt pissed off about that one. But Blair sends out the ropes. Able to bulldoze. Does Raquel the STL takedown? Able to run through whatever Blair had in mind and then took her down momentarily. But now Blair Davenport got her up. No. Able to land on her feet with a chop block. Landed on her feet and then a chop block takes down Blair. And now attacking the spine as well. Goes for the cover. Look, back press. Unable to get the job done there. Raquel Rodriguez still unable to get the job done. Able to get the pinfall. Look at Blair. Off the top. Oh, no. Went over Raquel. Oversaw on that springboard. But nonetheless. Oh, but he can connect with a German suplex. And oh, Shining Wizard. Series of offense there by Blair and another good Blair with the guillotine. Guillotine applied. Raquel Rodriguez is in deep trouble here. But then again, the power of Rodriguez coming into play. Both women looking to get a victory tonight. As Raquel with a stink, guys. And now, thinking Tahana! Boom! Could it be? Tahana Bomb for the win! Blair able to power at it too! Holy cow! You're damn right, women's wrestling. Good grief! Oh, what a kick there by Blair! 
The flying kick caught her out of nowhere. Now both women battling, battling it out outside the ring. Right in front of the members of the WWE Universe. In the front row. Oh, God. What an uppercut. And now what's this? Look at Blair. Oh, my God. Swinging Raquel right to the barricade. What a night it has been with action. A, a lot of good action here on SmackDown. Count of six, but couldn't get the drop to hold. And now. Oh. And, oh, form at the four. Stop to the arm. Raquel Rodriguez. Trying to do damage to Blair. Realizing that maybe I should wear her down more. The moves like that, elbow drops. But look at Blair, catch her off guard. Inside cradle. Inside cradle, but got the one. Got a one fall there. And now, Blair Davenport. Oh! It, wow, what a move there by Blair. Is it enough? Oh, not enough at two. That was like an innovative version of a Falcon Arrow. That was like her little twist on it, but look at this. Sweet a twist. Guillotine. Guillotine locked in. Look at it trying to wear down Raquel Rodriguez. But the powerhouse continues to fight. The heart of Raquel Rodriguez is as big as her muscles. Which is a lot. And oh, oh unable to connect there. And now, snap suplex. What a heck of a match between these two. Oh! Two different styles colliding here on SmackDown. Raquel Rodriguez taking on Blair Davenport. As look at this, Dicky power bomb upstairs. Blair able to block. And oh! Shoot onto the canvas. And now, Blair into the Falcon Arrow. Able to hook the inside leg. Blair gets the win. What a competitive match. Here is your winner. Holy cow! These two put on a clinic here on SmackDown. And that's the first time they met up in the ring. And now tonight, Blair Davenport walks away with the win with that beautiful looking Falcon arrow that she delivered on the Raquel Rodriguez. Congrats to Raquel for her efforts, but in the end, it's Blair Davenport with the victory going up in the rankings, no doubt, but potentially a women's world title shot. You know, these past few months have been hard. Ever since that cancer Jay White showed up, I haven't been myself lately. I've been so focused on the world title that I lost a piece of who I am. I've been distant from my friends. My family are concerned about my mental health. I can't live like this. I can't perform at a phenomenal level acting like this. So next week, the SmackDown before the Royal Rumble, I need to compete. I'll start from the bottom. I don't care how I get there. I will be phenomenal. Again, it's time to shut up and wrestle. Strong words there by AJ Styles. They're going to regroup starting on the next episode on SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Light Heavyweight Championship. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. WWE Light Heavyweight title on the line. Oh, wait a minute. I thought the world, Women's World Champion wasn't here tonight. It looks like she is. 
Now they're going to miss out her friend, Damian Priest, getting an opportunity at the Light Heavyweight Championship. Along with Dirty Dom. My God, here comes the Judgment Day. Damian Priest, he overheard Sheamus saying he'll defend the title tonight on SmackDown. Was able to take advantage of that, able to walk up to Sheamus and say, hey, you don't need to look no further. I'll be the guy to beat you for the championship. And Sheamus, not afraid to accept the challenge for tonight's championship bout. But I wonder if Sheamus can find a way to counter what Damian Priest has tonight. Having his friends Dominic Mysterio and Rhea Ripley making the way, I guess, at ringside for this championship bout. As here comes Damien Priest, a man they're going to seek after his first championship in Universe Mode. Oh, wait a minute. It seems that the Celtic Warrior is not coming alone on fight night here on SmackDown. That's the Celtic Warrior and his brawling brutes making the way to do battle for the light heavyweight championship. Oh man. No doubt Seamus is very confident going into this match with his best friends by his side. Rich Holland to your left and Butch to your right. Seamus won the light heavyweight title against Solo Sokoa on SmackDown's New Year's Revolution only a few episodes ago and then Last episode on SmackDown, Sheamus defeated Austin Theory in a non-title matchup. No doubt a lot of momentum on the side of the Celtic Warrior for this title defense tonight here in Hershey, Pennsylvania for the WWE Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Damian. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds. He is the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Big opportunity tonight for the punishment of the Judgment Day. For Damian Priest. Can you walk away as WWE's light heavyweight champion or will the Celtic Warrior continue to reign supreme tonight? Something's gotta give here on SmackDown. And right out the gate, Damian Priest with the strikes all over. As oh, and oh, he's all oh, a neck breaker. Seamus able to get the upper hand there momentarily, dropped the knee, but Priest able to counter and then caught him with a lariat. And Damian Priest on the attack here. Seamus, who's been in the game for a, for a minute, got him. Choke power bomb. Obviously, the Celtic Warrior got devious things in mind for Damian Priest. Look at this elevated triangle choke by Priest. Didn't try to get the win by any means with all shots in the midsection. And then a close line. A close line by Sears. And look at the power, look at the strength. Able to carry. Damian Priest, he's a very, very tall man. 
But Sam is able to manage that with a backbreaker, but Damian Priest almost returning the favor, but worse, a sidewalk slam. And oh. big close line by the Celtic Warrior goes for the cover to retain, but no. Priest able to get the shoulder up at one. Again, the light heavyweight championship is all about elevating the superstar to getting to the next level, to the other championships, to maybe get a title, to get a, a world championship, I should say, down the line, to get a world title shot down the line. You can use the light heavyweight title to elevate your career. And Seamus plans on doing that tonight. And Seamus with the power slam on the priest. The Celtic Warriors fired up here. And oh, the Priest able to catch him lacking with that kick. And now Damian Priest. Oh, something a bit sexy there by Seamus. Thinking white noise? No. Priest with the elbows. Able to have him scouted momentarily. Got him up. Dogs oh, with the Dominator. The inverted power slam, the Dominator by Priest. Straight right into a form. Looks like his friends being by his side tonight. Damien Priest is on a roll. As Damien Priest, oh my god. Big stomp to the back of the skull. And oh, both men have something in mind but did not connect either. But oh, digging STO. Shot to the gut. Priest got him low. Thinking. Razor's Edge! Oh! Samus knows something about that move. Cover! Hook to the leg! Could it be? No! Samus kicked out of toe! Busted open and all. Priest! Look at him! Put the nail in the coffin! South of heaven! Hook to the leg! And Samus continues to fight! Both men put in their blood, their sweat, their tears in that ring. All for the light heavyweight title, knowing what it can do for their careers. It can elevate their careers to superstardom as Damian Priest got him here. Stop the heaven. Priest, cover. New champion. Wow! Here's your winner, and new WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Damian Green! The punishment of the Judgment Day finally won a championship! Live in BMO Field in Toronto, Canada, it is the Royal Rumble Premium Live event, where superstars will battle inside the ring to where one superstar will stand tall out of the 29 to win the Royal Rumble and go on to WrestleMania. There will be seven matches on the show, but only four championships will be on the line. You don't want to miss the upcoming WWE Royal Rumble, the last show before WrestleMania. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. Live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, in the BMO Field, it's the Royal Rumble Premium Live Event. Let's look at the matches set for this show. As one out of the two champion versus champion matches will take place as Gigi Dolan will challenge Bianca Belair for the women's title. Can she pull off the hat trick in Gigi Dolan of winning the tag title, the Elimination Chamber, and the women's title come Royal Rumble? Or will Bianca Belair remain as champion? Seth Rollins will take on Randy Orton as this rivalry has been spiraling out of control over the last couple of weeks, especially with Nathan Frazier getting an upset win against Randy Orton because of Seth Rollins. These two will battle. No holds barred. Women's world title on the line from SmackDown. Asuka will take on Rhea Ripley after Asuka earned herself this opportunity by winning a triple threat match at New Year's Revolution. Will Mommy remain on top or will the Empress of Tomorrow walk away with the gold? 17 time could be John Cena if he can win the World Heavyweight Championship as he takes on the Switchblade Jay White. Will we see a new era with John Cena as the world champion or will we still be in the era of Switchblade? 
Raw's main event, the WWE Championship on the line. Gunther, the undefeated king of the ring, will take on the undefeated Intercontinental Champion Carmelo Hayes. Something's gotta give with the top prize of our sport on the line with the undefeated streak hanging in the balance. With WWE 2K24 and Season 10 on the horizon, what will be the announcement made by the Chief Content Officer, Triple H, as he will appear at the Royal Rumble to address WrestleMania and also the future of Universe Mode. And then you don't want to miss the two premier matches of the night, the Royal Rumble match for the men and the women. The men will main event while the women's match will take place during the show. Who will stand tall at the end of their respective matches and who will go on to WrestleMania with a title shot in hand. Well, you don't want to miss the final SmackDown before the Royal Rumbles. AG Styles are going to regroup starting next episode as he takes on Tyler B. Styles and B will meet one on one on SmackDown the next episode. Also, it was announced earlier tonight Asuka and Rhea Ripley will have a face to face confrontation before their championship bout at the Royal Rumble. Things might explode next week. Also, Cody Rhodes will have an open challenge for the United States Championship. Who will step up and face the American Nightmare for America's gold? And then our main event coming up next, John Cena, first time ever, will meet a Steiner's own Braun Breaker. Let's show you how this match came about earlier tonight. I will compete on SmackDown, and we'll see who's willing to step up to the face that still runs this place. Well, it looks like the so-called GOAT is in need of an opponent. How sad. Look. You questioning who's willing to step up? Well, you're looking at your opponent. If you got the guts, Cena? Meaner than evil, how is that possible? I guess I'll find out. You got yourself a main event match with your future world heavyweight champion, John Cena. Remember this, John? I got the best spear in the business, and I plan on cutting you in half. Oh, wow, isn't this lovely? Two of my SmackDown superstars making my job so easy. Cena versus Breaker, for the first time ever in the history of the WWE, that's a hell of a main event for tonight. It's official, tonight on SmackDown. And that's how this match came about, ladies and gentlemen. John Cena was throwing out a challenge to anyone and Braun Breaker not looking to shy away of stepping up. Looking to take on the top dog. Cena claims he's the face that still runs the place. Breaker has an opportunity to break that mold here tonight. Live in Hershey, PA. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds. From Breaker. A man that claims to be meaner than evil. Braun Breaker. Has a big opportunity, no doubt his attitude changed. Ever since he came over to SmackDown, but ever since he lost to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania this past year, no doubt Breaker looking to work his way up in order to get to that level, to maybe one day he can meet the Beast and maybe beat the Beast on the grandest stage of them all. But tonight, he doesn't meet the beast, but he does meet one of the best, if not the best, that ever did it. And his opponent, from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 240 pounds, John Cena. Last week on SmackDown, John Cena pretty much said it clearly, clear as day. I'm here for number 17. John Cena wants the World Heavyweight Championship and he's looking to do it on the brand where he started his WWE journey on SmackDown. John Cena looking to start working his way up like he said earlier tonight. Cena plans on getting through Breaker tonight and then getting towards the Rumble with a lot of momentum on his side to then claim number 17 and break Ric Flair's all-time championship record. Cena, breaker, main event. Right out of the gate. Oh, right out of the gate. Rights and lefts, or lefts and rights by Cena. And then a shoulder tackle to take Breaker down. But Breaker able to kick back. 
These two are going to brawl it out, no doubt. And Cena! German suplex in the early goal of this match on the breaker. As John Cena looking to go to work on the son of a dog face gremlin. As Cena up top. Oh, the shoulder tackle on the breaker. You really see Cena fly like that, but he took a risk with Breaker! Simple yet effective. Had his palm, I think, around his, his chest and just slammed him down. Did Braun Breaker as Cena now. Maybe they'll do the regroup or wait for Breaker to get back outside, which he did. And now Cena gonna take advantage. Fisherman, no, blocked. Into another light suplex. Oh, what a trade-off by Cena and Breaker. And now look at Cena's in trouble. Breaker got him in his grasp. Thinking vertical. Delayed. Suplex. Oh, my God. Toy with Cena. Planting him down. As Braun Breaker. Oh, Cena. Breaker was taking too much time taunting Cena. Able to drive his shoulder right to the gut. Now Cena taunting. But now Breaker got back in the ring just in time to catch him lacking. Setting him off the ropes into a power slam. Oh, but Cena got right back up to his feet. Just for Breaker to have him in his grasp once again. Two dogs are going to hash it out here. But who's the alpha male between these two? Breaker, looking to prove that he's the top dog here on SmackDown. Double A Spinebuster. Good brief and a kick out of one by Cena. And now Braun Breaker. Oh no, Cena. You're not going to want to be there in the drop zone. Oh, but Breaker crashed and burned out of the freaking mat. And now John Cena taking advantage, standing T on the floor. Good God. Oh, right into the, I believe into the post. And now John Cena, again taunting Breaker. But Breaker not gonna have that. Lead to the midsection, got him up on the shoulders, whoa. It's Breaker, what's Breaker thinking? Launching Cena off the top row. I thought Breaker took maybe want to go for the attitude adjuster, but no. Breaker has something else in mind. As Braun Brother Breaker, they're gonna wear down John Cena. They're gonna try to get the upper hand here. Measuring Cena. Waited for him to get up to his feet, just for him to strike. Breaker got him up and puts him down. Falcon Era. And now, Breaker, looking right, delivered on the Cena. Irish whip, oh, but Cena, able to block, got him in his grasp, up and down. Sneak guys, we're onto the top rope. And Cena, they're gonna hyperextend the leg of Breaker. No doubt Cena, looking to try to Send a message to Jay White, the World Heavyweight Champion, who we saw earlier today talking with somebody. I don't know who. And I don't know what about, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what Switchblade has in mind. But Cena again with that deadlift powerbomb. No doubt sending a message towards Jay White. Cena thought about flying, but thought against it at the second, uh, just a second later. Oh, Breaker trying to go for a shoulder tackle. Cena with a working right. Abdominal stretch. Cena looking to wear down Breaker. The crowd has been electric here in Hershey all night tonight. I look at Braun Breaker watching Cena. Able to counter the big boot as well. And now it's Breaker. Look at this. Deadlift. 
Duck Cena into a back suplex. Meaner than evil is correct. Breaker. Good little press. Oh, he's about to lock Cena. But Cena cut him like the Cena cut him black at the last moment. Cena got him in the corner. Close line. Could that be? Close line. Slows it down. Could it be enough? Not even the hook of the leg could save that one. Able to kick at two. Then Breaker. And now Cena up top. What's Cena thinking? Hail Mary splash. And now Cena. Looking to finish it. Oh, but Breaker blocked. Spear. Breaker counted the attitude of just her attempt. Into the spear. And Cena kept the shoulder up. At the last possible moment, Cena got the shoulder up. But look at Breaker. Got him in the recliner. Cena's hand is greasing the ropes. But I'll take the referee notice. Cena, got to fight through, able to escape. What a matchup between Breaker and Cena. What a night it has been here on SmackDown. Cena up to his feet, uh-oh, there comes Cena. Short of tackle, and another. Ducks under his spin out, power bomb. Five moves of doom connected and Cena. The head mat slam attacks the arm. Cena again looking to try to wear down Braun. Oh my god, what a shot to the face. They can bust it open, Braun. Sending him over, hanging on, shoulder to the gut. Cena looking to prove he's meaner than evil. But Breaker turned that around, thinking Moonso, Cena into a vein. Shot to the face, Cena sent it back in the ring. And now with Cena gone. They get elbow drop and he connected. It's done enough, elbow to the spine. Cena prevails. Cena did what he had to do to get the job done. Here's your winner, John Cena. What a one-on-one match. Bricker brought it. Cena had to think outside the box to get the job done tonight. Holy cow, what a win. Oh, what the? Wait a minute. That's the one everyone champions music. That's G. White. Is G. White going to come out and confront Cena? Oh, wait a minute! Carrion Cross! Carrion Cross from behind! Carrion Cross laid out Cena. Oh, here comes Jay White. Jay White on the stage as he watches Carrion Cross. And up Cross are going to pick apart Cena. Cross has a history with John Cena. Cross actually beat Cena on a pay per view years ago. As Jay White watches. G. White might have paid Cross to damage Cena heading towards the rumble. Cena's in trouble.